Hello, Patty. <laughs> Hi, hello, Sandra. How are you? Well, you know, it has been a day with many activities, you know. Whoops, a lot of activities. But thanks, God, I'm here. <laughs> when you were writing me, I was uh, answering, and the teacher uh, turned on the the class and uh, oh. I said, wow, it's begin. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to begin, of course. Yeah. Well, how we say in the Spanish, a la carga. <laughs> oh my God, my camera. Ah, I have to turn off a uh, few. Yes, uh, uh -huh. okay. Yes, and then return again. Uh, at least I uh, I am um, listening to you. Yeah. I just started the midterm. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Today, this afternoon oh. was really, really nice for me. Oh. I almost finished the section two and I... I just, um, <clears throat> I have been working at the midterm, but I didn't know that, that I have uh, working at, at the midterm. Uh, later, I, I have, what, what's in the section? And then I, I, I saw the progress and I, I noticed uh, that I was working at the midterm. I am Very good congratulations thank you <laughs> i haven't been able to work so much because i have been so busy uh, with with my husband here so <clears throat> yeah yeah i work i i work in the in in the emergency and uh -huh. hey this afternoon i saw the two patients only oh and I have any uh, very very much time. Not too too to much work, time. Too very. much time. That's nice. Thank you. Good. <laughs> but you are improving. You are improving. Yes, Ali, Ali. Good evening, Sandra. Good evening, Miss Alonso. How are you? I am fine today. <laughs> Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Because yesterday uh, the the compu are very 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 bad. Oh, what's bad? Uh, because uh, the, the computer crashed and yes. I couldn't load it. <gasps> but today they look at look at it and it's ready. Oh, well, thanks God, you know. Here I am again. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. And yes. how do you feel about your eyes, your sight? Um, well, so-so um, because uh, sometimes I, I, I see the, the cloud. Uh -huh. ah, they, like, they, wow. uh, because the, I have a surgery with the laser oh. and both. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. So and, dangerous. Yes. And mm -hmm. I, 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 I have a problem with uh, the pictures and uh, I... Mm. Um, Hi, guys. But, Sorry, my microphone wasn't... Hi, teacher. I and my micro my microphone was turned off. Hey, how are you guys? Good to see you again. Good, good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening right? It's good to see you again. Oh, good yeah. to so, see you again. Uh, I have to turn off my camera, teacher. It's all right. It's okay. It's it's uh interrupt. <laughs> um, okay, it's it's uh, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me know. How are you guys? How was how was work today? Too much, too much activities to do. <laughs> too many activities. Yeah, too many. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, I mean, um, 
too many activities to do. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. At work, you mean? Or you, you're yes. talking about homework? Uh, yeah. Wow, I, I didn't have time enough to um, to finish my 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 platform. And, and there are so many tricky parts over there either. Uh, also. Okay, Ray, I got it. I got it. Okay. What about uh, the rest of you guys? How was it? Well, in my case, uh, this day has been a very busy day. Since the vet <clears throat> came to to see my cows yeah. and feed them to see if if they were um, loaded, cargadas, uh -huh. loaded or not, and only two are not loaded. The other are maybe maybe have a a two or three cows new maybe i don't know all because right the moon the moon say <laughs> I'll, I'll, it's like i hope and god uh, uh, the the cows um give me more uh, milk because right. are very very low the production okay. all right yeah. so the production is low i it's got low. it i got it's it producer. all right very good guys so anyway so let's get started guys um today right today we're going to talk about the last topic from the platform and we're going to go over the um the exercises okay the exercises from the platform okay um, I still, they still haven't solved the issue that we got in the platform in regards to the, you know, the, <clears throat> the answer that number, the, the answer from the exercise 1.2. Okay. So as soon as, I, as, as, uh, as soon as they fix that, right. Um, we're going to solve it together. Okay. Anyways, guys, good to see you. Um, today guys, we're going to talk about reported speech. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get um, we're gonna talk about the content from reported speech from the platform. Okay, so all right, guys. So um, who's the, who's heard about reported speech, guys? What do you know about reported speech? Reported speech is something that we have to say uh, when when a when a friend tell tell tells us something. She told me that, da, 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 for example. Okay, very good job, right? Very good job. It's like chambrating, right? Chambrating. Yes <laughs> chambrating. <laughs> chambrating. Gossiping. Chambrating, yeah. All right. <laughs> tell, tell, your, tell your neighbor, right? Oh, no, you, I'm not, you know, tell, tell her that she's not. Chambroso or Chambroso, right? They, she, they're just reporting, you know, they're using the reported speech, right? They're just practicing reporting, reported yeah. speech, right? So yes, mm -hmm. guys. So basically, guys, right? Basically, reported speech, guys, is when we report or share what someone else had said, right? Okay. Um, and that's it. Right? So, so basically, guys, okay, so how do you tell somebody else what I told you, okay? All right, there are some rules that we have to follow, right, uh, in order to do so, okay? So that is reported speech, right? So, for example, if I said um, you have to come, well, you have to come early tomorrow, how would you, how would you tell that? So let's see, how, how would you tell that to somebody else? And how, how would you tell your... Maybe your wife, maybe your husband, right? That I said that uh, that that I needed you to come early tomorrow. The teacher told me that I have to come early to class. All right. The teacher told me that I had to come early to class. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good job. Right. Uh, is there any other way of reporting that, guys? Thank you very much. That Yesenia, thank you. Thank you. Okay, that is 100% correct. Yes. Right. 
Is there any other way of saying that, guys? All right. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. So, so, um, right. So, here's an example. Okay. So, we can say, like, let's say, guys, that, um, Somebody said, right? Let's say that this is this is not gonna be um well actually this is a good example, right? You can say, I'm going to the movies tonight, said Tom, right? Or you can say, let's change this instead of doing that, we're gonna do it this way, right? We're gonna say, Tom said, comma, right? I'm going to the movies tonight, right? That is exactly guys what Tom said, right? So let's say, right, let's say that I am, my, my name is Chambroberto, right? My name is Chambroberto. And I want to tell, I don't know, maybe I want to tell Jan Yancy, right? What Tom said to me, how would I do that? Tom told me, no, told me, no. Uh -huh. Tom told me. Uh-huh, I'm, I'm giving you the answer. That, <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. He was. He will. That he will go to the movies. All right. Very good job. Next, okay. next night. <laughs> next. Uh, All right. So, so we're we're doing fine so far, right? So, Tom mm -hmm. told me, or Tom said, right? That right. He was going. That he, he was, was going. going to the that movies. he was going. To the movies tonight. To the movies tonight, right? So Tom said no. that he was going to the movies tonight. Very good. Good job. Okay. Uh, teacher, I get confused. I get confused when you use uh, uh, <coughs> Tom said, Tom told me, Tom asks me. Three phrases for me is get confused when used to report a speech. No, don't worry. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'll explain that in a moment. Okay. okay? Right now, I'm, I'm just giving you examples, okay? So yes, guys, okay? That This is how we report, right? Tom said that he was going to the movies tonight. We could also, right? We could also say something like this, right? We could say, hold on, guys, Jesus Christ. Right? So we could say something like, why can I not copy and paste this? Anyways, we could say, um, <clears throat> We could say Tom, right? Tom told me yeah. that, or you can say you can say with that or without that, right? So that is yeah. um, that that is a relative pronoun, right? So Tom mm -hmm. told me that he was going to the movies tonight, tonight, right? Okay. So yeah, you can say it in both ways, right? Tom said uh -huh. that he was going to the movies tonight, or Tom told me that. He was going to the movies tonight, right? Okay, okay. Do you know the difference, guys, between okay, we're gonna talk about the difference between say and 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 me and, and 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 tell, right? But basically, guys, okay, let's talk about the verb itself, right? When we say said and when we say told. So why can we not? All right, and this is a question for you guys, okay. Why can we not say Tom said me? Yeah. Why can we not say that? Yes. Mm, no, said, it's not no, because it's, it's no. not it's not because it's, like it's, no many yes no say so it's general because when you say it's general no because we have to say Tom told me yeah in because this case just, say is that I say all right yeah you can say Tom told me so can we not say guys Tom said Tom, Tom said that he was going to the movies tonight. Can we not? Is would that be incorrect? Do you think that this is incorrect right here? Sell me, sell to me. Tom said that he was going to the movies tonight. Is this incorrect or correct? Correct. They are correct, right? So this, right? So this right here is correct, and this right here is also correct. It's also okay? correct. All right, both of them, right? But the difference is this, guys. Okay. All right, let's talk about the difference in that verb, okay? So the difference, guys, okay? And this is the reason why, let's talk about the verb say and the verb tell, right? So you can tell a story, right? 
but you cannot say a story, right? That th there's a difference in the meaning, but the verb itself, guys, is different as well. Okay, when we say "say," guys, okay, um, this is right. This is not a transitive verb. Okay, do you know what a transitive verb is, guys? No. And I needed to understand the difference here, guys, because when you do the exercises, hold on, guys, my fan disconnected. All right. So when you when you do the exercises, it's very important that you understand. Uh, you, you're going to be using either one of these, right? So you have to use them correctly, and and for you to use it correctly, guys, you have to understand what is a transitive verb and what is a what is not a transitive verb, right? So this is an intransitive verb. You can call it. Instead of not a transitive verb, you can call it a intransitive verb, okay? And you can say tell, right? This is a transitive verb, okay? So what is one thing, right? That's that sounds so confusing, David. It's not, okay? Let's think about let's think about um, buses from El Salvador, right? Let's think about la 44, right? Let's think about our beautiful transportation here in El Salvador, okay? All right. They, right, they are part of our transit, okay? So a verb, guys, a verb that needs to transition, right, to, to, uh, to transit, to reach an object, it's called a transit verb, okay? I'm gonna give you an example, right? Let's let's forget about this right now. Okay. So let's talk about this, for example, right? He, we're gonna say he, Choyon, right? Let's talk about Choyon again, right? <laughs> Choyon, <laughs> right? Choyon told. Can I say Choyon told? Yeah. Told me. Okay. Choyon told. told. Yeah. Can I we say this? Know. We don't know. Can I, okay, hold on. Chuyon told that he liked going to the movies. Can I say this? Chuyon told that he liked going to the movies? I think maybe not. Maybe not. Because uh, after, uh, after told, you have to put the subject. Mm, okay. Chayan told me, Chayan told someone else. Okay, all right. Let's 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 make it let's make it simpler, okay? Let's make it simpler, okay? Choyon told, can I say uh Choyon love? Love loves Choyon loves. Can I say this? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. Can I say Choyon likes? Can I say this? Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> he can. All right, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What? Uh, no, because a uh, tall, love, and like there are transitive birds and needs a complement on an object. All right. You're very you're getting pretty close, okay? You're getting pretty close, okay? Very good. All right, guys. <laughs> so I needed to understand this, okay? This is the reason why. No, guys, you cannot say. You cannot say Cheon told, Cheon loves, Cheon likes, right? No. Now, so to understand this, you have to remember, okay? So real quick, we have to remember what, you know, parts of speech are, right? So there is something here, guys, okay? We have in our sentence, okay, Cheon, told um, my mom, right? That he loved, <laughs> that he loved her, okay? So let's use this example, right? Because Choyon is our dad. So Choyon told my mom that he loved her, right? So we have to, we have, what is, what is this, guys, right? What is this right here? In parts of speech, guys, what is that? Subject. Subject? Right. Yeah. This is okay. So this is gonna be, all right. So this is gonna be a subject, right? What type of subject is it? No. Pronouns. 
It's a oh, noun, no. right? Very good. So the type of subject that we got here is a noun, okay? So nouns, guys, can be part of two teams, okay? You have, right? You have team Captain America and team, no, you have team subject and you have team object, okay? It's very important that you remember this, okay? Because a, a subject and an object can be nouns and pronouns. The difference is that the subject, right, is the one performing the action and the object is the one receiving the action, okay? So that, that's what it is, okay? So anyways, right, going back to this, okay? So why is this called right here a transitive verb? Because transitive verbs, guys, need to have an object because otherwise they do not make sense, okay? They need to, right, they need to, uh, travel, right? They need to, that, that's why they need to transition, right? Right? Um, with an object. <clears throat> so in this case, guys, we need the object of the sentence, right? So this is the object. My mom is the object of the sentence, correct? What type of object is it? Uh, relative, relative. This is a noun. No. And my relative. mom is also, well, mom is a noun, right? My is an adjective for mom, okay? But whatever, right? My mom is the whole object, okay? So see, guys. So told this this sentence is correct because we are we have the object, okay? Let's take a look at this, right? We have the example of loves, right? Be, uh, that he loved her. Imagine this, guys. Imagine that we didn't have her here. Could we say that? Choyon told my mom that he loved. Can we say that? No. no, no, right? Exactly, guys. Exactly. And that is the difference, guys, with the verb say, okay? Because if you have, <coughs> if you think about it, all right, when we have the verb say here, okay, so let's have, <laughs> so this, this is tell, right? So let's have uh, Choyon, right? Said. Now, Choyon says, Right now, do we need more information here, guys? John says what? All right, we need the what. What does right? he, what does he says, right? say? Right. So that so guys here, right here, right says is also we need to say said it for example, right? So this is another type of transitive verb as well. Okay, so say falls within that category. Okay, but before we we jump into say, guys, okay, here's one example of some of a verb that is not a transitive verb, okay? Can I say, guys, um, oh, Choyon, Choyon eats? Can I say Choyon eats? Would that, would that sentence make sense? Yes mm. or no? No. No. Because you, you have to, to describe uh, who, uh, what he is eating. Okay. All right. So you think, so can I say I am eating? I am eating. Yes. I can yes. say I, I am yes. eating, right? So yes. So this right here, guys, guys, is not an intransitive verb. It can be both, right? It can be a transitive verb or it could be an intransitive verb, okay? So that is the difference between them, okay? So... With both of them, guys, okay, so going back to the example that we had before, right? So if we say, Choyon, all right, said, and and here, right, we will need to use quotation marks. Choyon said, um, I, you can say, said that, right? But here, we do not need, guys, the object, okay? So this, in this case, guys, when we are, when we are talking about reported speech, right, it will not work as a transitive verb. Okay, so Chion said that he wanted to come to the country. Okay, so we could say that, right? But here, if you wanted to report the same thing, you're saying mm -hmm. told, Chion told me, okay, that he wanted to come to the country. Okay? Now, you can put it like this, okay? What is me in a parts of speech, guys? What is me? 
the possessive. The object. It's, it's, it's an object. object pronoun, object. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's an object pronoun, okay? So when we use tell guys, you always need an object pronoun, okay? You can put it like that, okay? When we use say, you do not need an object pronoun, okay? You can either say that, or you can jump right straight into he, right? John said he wanted to come to this country, or you can open quotation marks, okay? Only with said, guys, or say, right? Uh, only with say it is possible um, to, to open quotation marks, okay? Sounds good? Only with said, guys, okay? Or say, or will say, right? If you're talking about the future, etc. okay? So moving on, guys, right? Talking about parts of speech. Hold on, right? Before I move on, I move on to the next part, guys. Do we have any questions about say and tell? Or are we good? We're good. Uh, tell is, is the verb tell is a uh, transitive verb. The, yes, uh, it's, a, it's transitive. We can, we can call uh, say as an um, intransitive. Yeah, they, they're both transitive, but when you are in reported oh, speech, okay. right? Say is not does not need an object pronoun, okay? In that sense, it's not transitive, right? But it needs, right, it will need either a relative pronoun, which is that, right, or it will need quotation marks, okay, right? So that's what it is, right? But you do not need a, a, uh, an object pronoun, okay? So going back, guys, to report a speech, okay, we have, um, um, you can say, right, you have direct speech and you have indirect speech, right? In when we talk about direct speech, guys, we are talking about the exact way how someone said something. Okay, so I can say, right? Let's. I can say, for example, guys, right? This is David, right? David. Um, we can say, I need you to come early tomorrow. Okay, so this is what I said, right? So how can you report what I said directly? All right, I need a volunteer, guys. How could you report this directly? Remember, I need they to- David say, David say, he need, you, he need- We need. He need to come early tomorrow. All right, very good. So this would be, now, now remember, right? In, when we talk about direct speech, right? We are going to say the exact same words that the other person said, okay? When we're talking about direct speech. So think about it like, think about it again, right? How would you report it with direct speech? He said, he said. So we can say he said he need he said uh, he need comma, I'm said, I'm going to early tomorrow. I'm going to the I'm sorry I'm I need you to come early tomorrow right? I need you to come early tomorrow. All right, easy peasy right? So this is what he said right? So he said I need you to come early tomorrow right? Okay, can we say, guys, he told? Yeah. No, no, no. He All right. Me. You can say, he told me. He's, he told me? Told me. He told but, me. Okay. That. But this is no direct, it's indirect. Okay, in this, right, in this case, guys, it is possible. To, okay, so let's say that David, right, was talking to me. And he told me directly, right? Hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. and, I'm and I'm telling you, Yancy, right? Hey, Yancy, you, you know, David told me, I need you to come early tomorrow. It is correct, guys, right? Okay. It is possible to say that. But if you're mm -hmm. writing, for example, if, you, if you're like writing a paper, whatever, right? This is like the, the right way of representing that, right? Like if you're reading a book, 
the same. This is how yes. you would find it, okay? Uh, sure. He said, uh, and direct me. speech, uh, and direct speech, the tenses not change. Exactly. When you record it. <laughs> yes. Because you're repeating, um, remember. The whole point, guys, that is a very, that's very, very, very good um, to point out, okay? So remember, the point of direct speech, guys, right? The purpose of it is to, right, say the exact words, okay? Mm -hmm. Got it? So that is the point of direct speech, okay? To say okay. The, exact, the exact words the other person said, okay? Right. And when you use an indirect speech we're, we're gonna get we're gonna get uh to indirect speech soon all right i'll let you know okay but uh but yes so direct speech right right we are going to report exactly the same thing right so let's have another example right so um let's have a couple of examples so for example right um tell me something let's see i'm gonna pick people with the cameras turned off okay mm. Uh, I'm a storyteller. We, we don't have class what? tomorrow. We don't have a class tomorrow? Oh, yes. you, are you yes. asking me or is that a sentence? <laughs> it's, it's true, <laughs> but it's a sentence. <laughs> All right, it's true. Okay, so, okay, so that's what Yancy said, right? I'm sorry, I had another volunteer too. Thank you, Yancy. I'm okay. sorry, I, I think somebody else talked to you. Uh, what do you say? I'm sorry. Me? Yes. Oh, well. I, uh, I, am, I am a storyteller, not a story sayer. All right, very good. Okay, so she, right, so I'm just gonna tap that, that in here, right? I'm not a story, I, I'm a storyteller, right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a story. I'm a storyteller. Not, not a story sayer. A story. A story sayer. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Very good. I think we need a dash over there, right? All right. I'm a storyteller, not a story sayer, right? I have never heard that before. Very good quotes. If, you, if you're getting if you're getting those quotes from somewhere, right? Very good job. Okay. All right, very good job. All right. So that's good, right? So guys, I want someone, right? Someone who hasn't participated to tell me, right? to tell me how to report this directly, okay? Let's talk about direct speech. Actually, guys, everybody do me a favor, send it in the chat. How would you directly re report this to me, okay? Everybody, send me that in the chat. And also, right, let's have somebody else. Um, maybe <laughs> Selena, Selena, say something, say something so we can report it. <laughs> and maybe she, she's a nice is a nice friend she's a nice friend she's a nice friend okay report that too guys that is what selena said so hold on so this is selena right and the other person was who was the previous person guys sorry that was that was uh sandra Joe? right sandra. Oh, sandra sandra okay so that was okay. sandra all right, uh, I need a, a third volunteer. Say something, just say something. Share something funny. Mm. Walter. I'm trying, okay. I'll report a speech from Sandra. No, 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 just, just say something so we can report oh. what you say. Uh, there will be there will uh, there will be class tomorrow, for example. All right. We don't say there will be class tomorrow because that's how we say it in Spanish. All right. Mm -hmm. We say you know we'll have a class yeah. tomorrow. Right. We'll have a class tomorrow. Okay. Will we? Yeah, we'll have a class tomorrow. <laughs> Really? <laughs> no, no, I mean, this, no, that's, I the example. that's the example. That's the example. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I want you to report those three things, right? With direct speech. 
Okay, so, um, so let's see. There will be class tomorrow. There will be is not, we don't say like that, okay? She said, I'm a story driver, good. Nicole Sandra said, I'm a storyteller. Right, Selena say maybe she's a nice friend. Now, very important, guys. Very, very important. Um, as professionals, right? And, and, and in, let's talk grammar, guys. Guys, I need you to use commas, okay? You say he said, comma, open quotation mark, report, close quotation marks. I'm sorry, period, period within the quotation marks, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's how you say it, okay? So place a period before the quotation marks, okay? I'm gonna give you an example on that again, because the examples that you're sending me guys, okay? Guys, you have to remember, we are professionals, right? So we have to make sure that we use capital letters, right? And also guys, not only because we are professionals, because if you go to the platform, and you make these mistakes, the answer is going to be incorrect, okay? So it's very important, guys, that you know how to write. It's like what we learned in third grade, right? Capital letters, right, and punctuation, right? So for example, right, an example of uh, direct speech like that would be, um, Walter said, comma, open quotation mark, Will, will have a class tomorrow, so period, close quotation mark, okay? In Spanish, we will place the period outside, but in English, we actually place it inside when, if that is the last sentence that we got, okay? That's a difference. Yeah, that's a difference from Spanish and English, yes, all right? So that's that's what you do, guys. All right. So um, so Walter said we'll have a class tomorrow. Yancy said, comma, the people are friends now. Now hold on. Um, your example, um, Yancy, you said the people are friends. Okay, so after first of all, after a quotation mark, there's no space, okay? There shouldn't be any spaces, right? The quotation mark goes together with the first letter that we have in the sentence, okay? So it shouldn't be like this, right? Because we said, uh, Yancy, right? Yancy said, and then you have this, and then you have a space, and then you have this. And I'm telling you this, guys, because the platform will, is very, very, um, <laughs> no, well, it's, it's very detailed uh, on this, okay? So Yancy said, right? And then you're, you're placing a space. No, there shouldn't be any space after, a quotation mark, okay? All right, and then you're saying the people. First of all, guys, when you say the people, you shouldn't say the people because we do not use article, definite, this is called a definite article. That is called a definite article, right? We do not use definite articles if we are not being specific, okay? So we people. say people, exactly. So we say people are friendly, right? Period, quotation mark. All right, very good. Um, Patricia, you're forgetting that, you know, the person who said it, right? Yancy said, all right, all right. Selena said she's a nice friend. Joaquin said, I'll not stay in class because I'm sick, okay, very good. All right, I need everybody else, guys, okay? Because I see some examples, but not everybody, okay? So send me your examples, guys, okay? All right. So do we have any questions, guys, on direct speech? No, for that I did it. Direct yeah. speech, no. In direct okay. speech, uh, not change the words. Yeah. No, and yes. And don't, direct, you don't use that. No, you don't use that, right? Uh, no, you're not, you're not gonna use that, exactly, right? Um, okay, all right, so that's, so that's clear, okay? So now let's talk about the real deal, okay? So that would be, remember, all of these guys is part of a bigger 
topic, which is called reported speech, right? Reported speech, okay? So within reported speech, we have, right? We have direct speech, and we, we talked about that, right? And we have indirect speech, okay? So now let's talk about indirect speech, okay? <clears throat> so now indirect speech, guys, we have a couple of rules to follow in indirect speech, okay? So, <coughs> all right, we can say, for example, um, we can say, Tom said, actually, let's, let's do this, okay? Let's say we have Tom over here. <coughs> I'm gonna give you a friend, a, a phrase, right? Um, this is going to be Tom, right? And Tom says, hey, uh, I'm going, going to, to the rain. 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 Or it's going to rain, right? Yeah. But he said, right, I'm going, Tom said, I'm going to the movies tonight, right? Tom said, I'm going to the movies tonight, right? Said, and we're going to place a comma here, right? I'm going to the movies tonight, okay? Now, the indirect speech version here would be, Tom said that he was going to the movies tonight. Now, I want, I want to ask you something, guys. What's different from the sentence here and the one in direct speech? What's different? What are some of the differences that you can notice here? And you, you use commas and paraphrase the paraphrase words. paraphrase that the sentence in my own in my own words. All right, so it's paraphrasing, okay. All right, so it's paraphrasing. Yes, but what are okay, so but I want you to to take a you know a deeper look at this, okay, and tell me what is actually different. We they make a that. conversation. A com was going, was going, he was going, he was going. Present continues to change to a past continuous. All right, you're getting it, guys. You're getting it, okay? So take a look at this, okay? Tom said, right? Now, instead of one of the things, all right, so here are the things that will change, okay? And write this down, guys, okay? Because here are the things that will change, okay? Right. So let's say what's changing. So what's changing, right? So the first thing, the first thing that changes, guys, is the, the pronoun. The pronoun, right? The the pronoun. Exactly. There you go. The pronoun. All right. So the pronoun in direct speech was I, right? Yeah. Right. And when we reported, <laughs> right, we know that. We are reporting he. in a third person, right? So we have I and we he. have, so now it's he, right? Very good. So in this case, right, we're going to say that the first thing that changes is the pronoun, right? In this case, right, we're changing an I for a he, right? Okay. Uh, what is the second change that you see here, guys? What is the second difference that you see? The bear. The bear. The bear. The bear. The bear. The bear in present. Right? The pen's present. The present. Or... Verb. The verb, exactly, guys. Okay, so we have the verb. Okay, so the verb goes from uh, what is the verb that we got here? To be. To be. To be. Well, we have um, the contracted form of the verb be, right? So am. Um, so yeah. am is changing for? Was. 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 Very good, was. right? So am is changing for was. Okay. Was. Very good job, guys. Very good job. So far, so good, guys. Okay. Now, uh, what is the? Do, are you? Are we changing any anything else? The use of that without comma and pun. No quotations. <laughs> okay. No comma. Right. No comma. No. Yeah, we do have punctuation, guys. Right. Punctuation <laughs> exists in every in every sentence. Right. If you finish a sentence, you have to finish this. Finish it with point. a period. Period. Not yes. point, yeah. right? Period. Okay. <laughs> period. Period. All right. So okay. no comma. All right. What else do we have, guys? A quotation mark. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, exactly, right? So no quotation marks, okay? No quotation, quotation <laughs> marks, okay? No quotation marks, okay? Anything else, guys? All right. I'm going to say this, okay? That sentence, back shifts. Do you know what back shift is, guys? No. 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 Shift, shifting, guys, okay? When you say shifting, it's like... Okay. It, if you know guys how to drive cars, right? You have, you know, oh, yeah. uh, right? You have first gear, second Ambience. gear, third gear, fourth gear, yeah, fifth gear, and you have reverse. When the, the car. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so when you say back shift, it's like going going like when you say back shift, guys, it's like like you're, right, no you're, says, okay. you're, We're doing, you're doing that this, right? So you go like here, okay? Got it? Right, reach or see so. It's to return, right? <laughs> reach or see so. All right, yeah, so no, it's guys, like it's, back, back Yeah, it's like going, going, back yeah, shift. going backwards, right? So that that's back shift, okay? Back. So you when you you can shift, right? You can shift to first gear. You can shift to second gear. All right. So that is the meaning of back shifting, right? So anyways, right? Okay. So now that you know that, okay? So the sentence, guys, goes back. It goes to the previous, not, not to the previous tense, guys, okay? Go to a tense in the past. Most of the times, because when you say something in simple present, it is optional, guys, if you want to say it in simple present or not. But everything else, guys, everything else backshift into the previous tense, okay? I repeat, guys, everything else backshift backshifts into the previous tense all right so far so good yeah all right okay awesome okay so now so we know the things that will change right now let's have another sentence now now that you know that guys okay let's let's have some fun backshifting okay can somebody please give me an example of a sentence in simple present Simple press. Right, so let's go with let's go with simple press. You like to swim every day. Okay. All right, so you will say she likes to swim. She, she likes, likes she to, swim to swim to swim every day. every day. Okay, right, very good. Who said this? Who who said this? Who gave me this example? Judith. Judith, okay. So we got Judith, right? Judith gave me this example, okay? Very good. I want somebody to give me an example in simple past. Did you do the homework? We're gonna get into questions later, okay? I'm gonna teach oh, okay, you okay, 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 okay. All right, I need a sentence right now. Okay. I went to the supermarket yesterday. All right. Okay. So we have well, this is example one, right? You did. Okay. So we have, okay. Mm -hmm. So Walter, Walter, right? So he says, you know, I went to the supermarket yesterday. All right. Good job, Walter. All right. I need somebody else, guys, to give me an example in simple future. She will go to will the Walmart. Okay. Excuse me. She, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I heard. I heard. I heard the girl. Who yes. was it? Yes, Luis. Come on. Oh, Luis. Right. Let's go, Luis. Oh, I will be tomorrow at four a.m. You will be where? Be you guys. Be. be will in be the coral. The coral. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I will. Okay. So I will go to we'll go tomorrow to the farm. To... Right. To... I will go to the farm Four. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right. I will go to the farm tomorrow. Right. I and this to... is okay. Louis, right? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. All right. So this would be Louis, right? 
All right? So I will go to the farm tomorrow. All right? Number, um, I need someone to give me an example of a sentence in present perfect. I have painting for five years. Good job. I have, I love that you know the these topics. I have painted for <laughs> 10 years. Five, five years, five. Okay. All right. That would be better if you use, <clears throat> let's use that as a present perfect continuous example, right? I've been painting for five years, okay? So this would be present perfect continuous. Now, somebody please give me, uh, who said this? I'm sorry. Who said this? The name of the person who said this, I'm sorry. Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny all right, Jenny, all right? So Jenny, all right? So good job, Jenny, all right? So I, all right, so now I need a, an example in present perfect. I has been uh, studying in the platform to, today. Mm, I have been, not, not has, right? Oh, but, that, but that is okay. that's that's present perfect. I have studied English for two years. Very good. Okay, so we can say that, right? So number four, I have studied English for two years. Okay, got it. Good job, guys. Right. So we. Oh, this is not the same person, right? So tenses. Okay, they're called tenses. Good job. So we have more, right? We have. Uh, future perfect, future perfect continuous, past perfect, okay? We're, well, I'm gonna actually give you an example of past perfect because that's gonna be very important for this, okay? So uh, give me an example in past perfect, guys. Perfect. <clears throat> what I, is have begun, I have begun studying uh, English when someone uh, offered me um, how to say beca scholarship. I have begun to study a scholarship, a scholarship uh, to study Portuguese too. All right, very good. Scholarship. Okay, so I had begun to study to study English when someone offered me a scholarship. All right, good job. All right. So these are the tenses that we're gonna get. Okay. All right. So let's talk. Okay. Can I raise guys the, the, the left side? What? Can I raise this? Can can I raise the left side of the screen? Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Okay. The number so, six is for Sunday. All right. So the thing is that we need to talk about back shifting. Okay. So, all right. So let's talk about back shifting. All right. So we have back shifting here, right? So now, here's what you're gonna do with back shifting. Okay. You're gonna transform. Each of these tenses, okay, the ones that we have here, right? This one, this one, right? This one right here, this one, right? So each of these tenses, guys, will be transformed into the backshifted version, okay? So simple present, guys, will go, will turn into simple past, right? So simple present, <clears throat> right? Simple present, right? Will transition into simple past right. however guys however with simple present you can re you can keep it in simple present okay got it if it is something that is like happens just like right like almost right now guys you can keep it in the present okay i repeat guys you can keep it in the present if it just happened like like a second ago okay got it all right so all right, so let's go with the example from Judith. She likes to swim every day. So how would you backshift that? Remember, it needs to go to simple past, right? If you're gonna backshift it. She liked Judith. Judith. Judith says. Judith. Judith said she liked to swim every day. Judith, right? Judith said. Said. She right. liked that. Liked, is, that's now, using, using guys the relative pronoun, this right here is called the relative pronoun, right? Using the relative pronoun is optional, okay? You, Judy said that, or you can say Judy told me, right? You can say said, yeah. or you can say, or you can oh. say, sorry, you can say, um, 
you say say or you can say told me okay um, okay so this is these are the two ways in which you can say that okay <clears throat> all right very good so you did said or told me that like that she liked she liked she liked she liked to swim every day all right that she liked, liked to she liked like she liked okay liked. to swim liked. every day swim good job every day Good job, guys. Good job, right? That is one hundred percent correct. Okay, so number two, guys. What what would be the what would be the past of symbol past? Past perfect. Past perfect. Perfect. Exactly. Past so simple past, right? So when well, we talk about yeah. hold on, hold on. So got simple past will go in. Will turn into past perfect. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Past perfect. Okay. So what would be an example? Walter told us that he had gone to the supermarket. Very good. So Walter told us, told us. you know that you can say said that or told us or me, right? Told us that he had gone, had gone to the, the supermarket. supermarket, right? Good Before job. Today. Day before, before today before today before today uh hold on i went to the supermarket yes hey hold your horses guys hold your horses there is something very important that that uh, just just came up to me uh just now okay if he told you that today you can say walter told us that he had gone to the supermarket yesterday right if Walter said that today, right? And this is very important, guys. Very important for your exercises, okay? So we have today, right? So now, guys, this is yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. So if, 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 you know, if Walter said this today, we can say yesterday, okay? Yeah. However... Yeah. Okay. Let's say that he didn't say that today. Let's say that he said that, I don't know, guys. He said that, um, when, guys? Let's say that he said that uh, on Monday. All right, so this is Monday. So this is going to be yesterday. Last, last week. Um, so this that was Monday, guys, right? And today is Thursday. So he said that on Monday. So how would you say that? How would you? The, the thing, guys, is that the word yesterday, right? This is an adverb, right? So you don't need to know if it's it's if it's an adverb. It is an adverb. It is working as an adverb. Okay. So the adverb of time here needs to backshift as well. If the point of reference is uh, on a previous day. So listen to what I just said. What did I say, guys? Before say? Monday. No, no. What did I say? I said, I mentioned, I gave you the answer. Yesterday. Yes. No, because if he did not say that today, it's not yesterday. No. He... Day before. You can say that ah, day yes. before or After. the previous day. The previous okay. day, yes. All right. So you need to, all right. So you need to change that, guys. Okay. So, all right, so let's say, right, Walter told us that he had gone to the supermarket <clears throat> the day before, <laughs> or you can say, you can also Today, say Monday. the previous day, or you can say um, on Sunday, etc. Got it? Okay. Very okay. important, guys, very important, right? Yeah. All right, very good. Number three, guys. All right, so uh, I will go. So simple future, right? Simple future will backshift into what? What is the future? I would, what is the past of simple future? Would. 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 Remember that in simple future, we have going to, right? But but we're not, we're going to skip that right now, okay? So we're going to go with would, okay? Would. So that would be, how, how would we do this? 
Luis. Luis said, said right, let's go with that. He will go. That yeah. he would go. He will go. 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 To the farm, to the farm tomorrow. tomorrow. To the farm tomorrow. <laughs> now let's pretend that he did not say that today. <laughs> let's pretend that he said that on Monday. How would you say it? Remember, the adverb of time needs to next change. Next day. Next day. Not the next day, guys. The following day. Uh, all right. the following day. Good job. All right. Excellent. Okay. Good job. The following day, right? All right. Very good. Uh, I have studied English for two years. Right. So that is present perfect, right? I, I have this. Right. Present, perfect. present perfect will go into past, past perfect. Past too. perfect. I have okay. studied. I have, I have so you will say right. I, I well hold on. Yes. Who said who said this? Yeah. Let's invent a name. Choyon, right? Choyon said, said that that Cal that, that he, he has had studied study English. English. For two years. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Now I've been painting for five years. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um. Let's do something, guys. Number five and six. Bring it. To, bring it on Monday, right? I think we're not gonna have a class tomorrow, right? Bring it on Monday, guys. As homework, okay? I'm gonna ask you. Hey, what was the answer for number five and number six? Okay. Do we okay. have? Any, do we have any questions, guys? Uh, teacher. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, bueno, yo, yo tenía una duda sobre el, el ejercicio 1.8 de la plataforma. Ok, all right. Uh, I don't understand Spanish, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I, 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 I need some help with, uh, <laughs> yes, with the exercise of the platform about the report, uh, the speech. I'll help you right now. All right. Okay. Before, I, before I close this screen, this window, guys, do you have any questions? About this? No, 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 no question, teacher. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> good job, good job. All right. Did, did you all understand clear as vodka but drop 3,000 percent alcohol again? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, real quick. Okay. So, let's go to exercise 1.8. All right. So, 1.8. Okay. So, let's see. Let me share the screen here. All right. So one point eight, right? Uh, yes. What 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 is your question, sir? Number six and number eight. Um, I have problems with, with number two, four, five, six, and seven. I I tried, <laughs> but oh, <God. laughs> oh, maybe it's a problem with the platform. Maybe, right? Maybe <laughs> not. Maybe not, right? Uh, the, the thing, guys, is that you can report in two different ways, right? You can say said, you can say told me, right? Told us, right? So let's see. Uh, it says rewrite the sentences using reported speech. Remember to use capital letters and periods. You may use that or not. So that is option, right? So let's go with number one. So um, she told me she wasn't surprised at all, right? This is an example, right? I'm not surprised at all. She told me. So the answer should be? She told me that she wasn't. That she, she wasn't. wasn't. Wasn't surprised at Sur all. Surprised. Surprised at all. Surprised. At surprised at all. At all. Right. Let's oh. see. Period. Right. Let's see if that's the right answer. Yeah. Yes, that's nice. There you go. Right. Okay. Yes. So now I'm going to talk about questions on Monday. Right. But let's solve them. Have you heard the news? Yeah. He asked me. Okay. So we say he. He asked he me. Asked asked me. me. Repeat it, guys. Guys, guys, the pronunciation. No, 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 no. If Repeat. I have heard, guys, 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 guys listen, listen, listen. Okay. Repeat. Repeat. Ask. When you're speaking with fluency, you say, "asked." Repeat, "asked." Asked. 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 This, this, is in, this, this is in the past. Okay. Okay. In the past, he asked. Uh, okay. He asked. He asked. 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 Okay. He asked me. Yes. He asked me. Ask me if I had. If I had you hear the news. If I had heard. Yeah. Heard. If I had heard the news. The news. Period. Right. Not. Not. Not the question mark. Period. Right. Let's see. 
That is correct. Good job. Okay, excellent. There is a bank down the street, right? She said, right? So real quick, she, guys, said, she said. She said that she said there was that a bank. There was a down bank the down, the, down street. the street. Right, period at the end, right? Let's see if that is correct. That is correct, okay? okay? Why are you talking? She asked me, right? She asked me. She asked me that. She asked me why I wasn't. She asked me. Why I, I wasn't, wasn't talking. Good job, right? He told me, he told me. He told me that. He told me to, to give, give him, him a call. Him a call, right? So we're going to talk about using infinitives there, okay, on Monday. All right? He, he told me to give him a call, right? Uh, we're getting married. She told me. She told me. She told me they that were. They were. They were. That they were. We were, were they were getting married. That we were, right? We were getting married. Right? And there, 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 seems, there seems to be they. a... That they were getting married? That they, no. yes. They, they, yeah. They. yeah. They were getting married, right? They right. okay. the children yeah. asked me if the children asked me right uh, how, if, how if if the movie if the movie was, was scary was scary right? the same was we'll check on that okay they told me they told me they told, they told me that that they, that they didn't we that we had not they didn't they, they, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't. Take a or that they, they didn't, didn't right <laughs> that they that they didn't okay that they they didn't take the h train they, the, they it should be the right answer guys should be that they had not taken not take that's right what have not taken the, not. right the 8am the 8am train uh, right? Right, that should be the right answer. If that's not the right answer, then the platform is wrong. But they told, I, they told us, they told, they told me, right? They told me. They told me that they oh, had. Yeah. Okay. That they, they didn't. didn't. Take. Uh, All right. Oh, so day. let's see, guys. Let's see. <laughs> she told me that they were getting married, or she told me that they were getting married. She told well, me that right. they were getting married. All right. So uh, this uh, the, is this is yes. this is a very stupid mistake, guys. Okay, just <laughs> erase the. Here is the, the the exclamation uh -oh. mark, okay? All right. So that, that would be... Wrong. No, it should be okay. Uh, no, I'm going to record. Okay, accepted. so that, that is the platform, right? That, that is for the platform. <laughs> three answers are two. Yes, for me. Okay, uh -oh. right. So, put, right, so she told me that that they were getting married. Very I'm gonna nice. give you, I'm gonna send you the answer here, guys, because I have no idea why that is the case. Uh, it's the same answer, you know, the same answer. <laughs> All right, so here that just paste, copy and paste that there, guys. They told me that they were getting married. All right, okay. and the next one. Teacher, you need to try and to try and have... try. Hold on. Over and over. The children asked me if the movie had been scary, right? And that is correct, guys, because we we, we needed to back shift. Okay. Remember. Ask the problem now, these guys was not a mistake with the platform. This was your mistake because you needed to back shift. Remember, back shift. The the children asked me if the movie had been scary. Remember, oh, yeah. All right? Very good. So oh, next yeah. one, right? Next one is, uh, they told me that they didn't take the ADM train, or they told me they didn't take the train. Now this should have been back shifted as well. Didn't. This is a mistake. This is a mistake from the platform, but it should have been back shifted. Okay. Uh -oh. And still not taking it. Let's see. They told me that they told me they didn't take the. All right. So mm -hmm. this is the that's going to be the right answer. Okay. That should have been back shifted, guys. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So Thank here's the wait. answer for the last one. And that's it, guys. Okay. Anything Thank else, guys? Nothing. Oh, no Thanks. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much. Uh, tell me. Tell see me. you Monday. No? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> that's when Monday, we're going to. Yes. Uh, Oh, um, not tomorrow. There is, there is a deadline to the platform. Yes. So guys, move forward with the platform, okay? Move forward. All right, complete section one, section two, even if we have not seen, because I will give you section one in the first week, section two in the second week, and so on, right? So on and so forth. Okay. But you guys move forward, okay? Sounds good? All right. Yes, I'll see sir. you on Monday, guys. Take care.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.